Hey guys and gals, welcome back to the Nightwing Workout. This is a very special episode for me because it is the reveal episode. This is the end of the 60 days for me. And while it's definitely not the end of the journey, uh, it is the end of the 60 day program that Collins and I uh, planned out for the night wing workout. So we're gonna run through some numbers to show you how much progress I made. Um, you know, I didn't get quite as far as I wanted to physically. Uh, from a physical appearance standpoint, but I definitely did lose uh, quite a bit of body fat in the process. And I think I was able to maintain some muscle uh, in my chest, in my arms, in my legs. So just to recap for everybody, maybe it's the first time you're joining us and now you can go back and watch the whole 60 day workout program. Or if you've been following us throughout this journey, I thank you very much. So. I started off at about 142 pounds 60 days ago at about 12.7% body fat. My goal was to get to 145 pounds at 10% body fat. But here are the numbers today. I'm at 136 pounds and about 11% body fat. So I lost quite a bit of body fat. Um, on average, we can say about 1.5% body fat and I lost about six pounds. And we're not stopping here, I'm gonna keep going until I achieve that six pack goal that I've always wanted to achieve in my life. Uh, another couple of important things to run you guys through, I wasn't taking any supplements, I wasn't taking any fat burning pills or anything like that. Um, all I was doing was obviously vegan diet, intermittent fasting, I was very aware of the calories I was eating. I was at a calorie deficit almost every day. Um, and I wasn't really taking creatine. I, I started and then I stopped and then I started and then I stopped and with creatine, you do have to be very consistent. So I wasn't even taking creatine. Uh, I, I do a vegan creatine from a company called Vivo. Uh, but even that, I wasn't really taking on a consistent basis. What I was taking on a consistent basis was healthy whole foods, protein powder, and BCAs, all vegan of course. And of course, I'm not gonna run you through what we did for the program because you already know, uh, but very quickly, I am gonna run you through the program, I guess. Uh, very quickly what I was doing, we're gonna pull up the calendar again here. I was doing cardio almost every day on an empty stomach while intermittent fasting, and then I would work out in the evenings, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, strength training. So that's how I was able to achieve this goal. If you've been watching every week, it might be hard for you to see the progress. So of course, we're gonna post some before and after photos from when I first started to this point today. And we're also gonna do another shirtless workout. I've done three of those throughout the program to kind of show you my progress. And really as a journal for me too, to see if I can notice the differences uh, of how my body is looking while I'm working out shirtless. So, Today we're gonna to do another shirtless workout. This is gonna be a, a really nice bonus um, push and pull upper body workout. So we haven't done this quite before, but it's gonna be a good way to kind of show you uh, the progress that I've made and also a good workout for you to implement um, either throughout your week or if you wanna change it up a little bit from your same old routine or if you wanna throw something in on the weekends if you're doing the night wing workout. So, we're gonna do a nice little workout for you guys um, as well. As you can see, I have made progress. The numbers say that I've made progress, maybe not as much as I want, uh, but there definitely is progress being made. So I'm gonna keep pushing. I'm probably gonna continue to eat a calorie deficit workout, but you've gotta figure out what works best for you depending on your goals. You know, do you wanna lose fat? Do you wanna gain muscle? Do you wanna lose body fat? What do you want to do exactly? And you've got to adjust according to those goals. So I'm going to bring someone in who can actually help you with those goals. Uh, and you can always reach out to him and ask for a more customized workout. Uh, he's my trainer here in Los Angeles and a good, good friend of mine. He's been with us throughout this program. Collins Ezek. What's going on, man? 
You ready for this? Yeah, man. So this is this is it. After 60 days of, of hard work, um, you know, obviously I wasn't as consistent as I wanted to be sometimes. Uh, you know, didn't do cardio seven days a week like I wanted to do sometimes. But all in all, I'm proud of the work that I've done. I'm proud of the progress that I've made. And uh, you know, we're gonna keep going until we achieve that that six pack six six bag. That's my Egyptian accent coming out. Six pack goal. Uh, that that I want to achieve. Yeah, I think in the end of the day, it's all about consistency. So you want to keep pushing until you get there, right? We do put deadlines and timelines, so we push harder and we reassess, and then we can push, keep pushing from there. So that's pretty much it. This is the progress I personally made in 60 days. It doesn't mean that that's the progress someone else is going to make in 60 days, but this is what I was able to achieve in 60 days. So I'm going to keep pushing. Um, because I want to, you know, keep sharing this journey with you. And when I do get to that six pack, I can share with you guys. All right, you know, remember from the night when workout, this is how much longer it took, and this is what I changed, and this is what I did. So, this is uh, where we're at. You ready for the workout? Yeah, let's do it. So we're gonna do what, Collins? Just break up down the. This bonus fun. workout for us. Yeah, a um, full upper body workout. Okay, five exercises. Sorry, uh, five supersets. 10 exercises, we're gonna hit push and pull, so chest and back, then hit shoulders, arms, and of course, core in the end. Right, all right, sounds good. So we're gonna go warm up, I'm probably gonna do some jump rope uh, to get myself nice and warm. You should do the same at home, whether you go for a run, jump rope, whatever it is, we always talk about this, make sure you're nice and warm, maybe a nice little stretch, and then we will get into the workout. All right, so let's get into it, my man. Let's get started. All right, so what are we doing for our first superset, Collins? All right, so the first superset, you're gonna perform 10 pull-ups followed by 10 push-ups. We're gonna rest for about 30 seconds to 90 seconds. We're gonna perform a second set of eight pull-ups followed by eight push-ups. And we're gonna work our way down to four pull-ups and four push-ups. So we're gonna do two, 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 down. Okay, all right, sounds good, let's do it. Oops. Here we go. Superset. We are going into our second superset. What's the second superset? Incline, dumbbell presses, superset with bent over, under grip, barbell rows. Start with the 40s. Burn! Good. This guy. Supersets 
to go. We're on to our third superset. And what are we doing for our third superset? Uh, we're doing shrugs for the traps. Okay. And we're doing uh, lateral hold raises. All right, sounds good. And how many reps? We're going for 20 of shrugs. just use body weight. 
So if you're watching at home and you're going, man, I don't have that equipment, I don't even have dumbbells, there are a lot of workouts on Built by God TV uh, that use just your, just your body. And a lot of people have made insane progress using his app, using his workouts. Uh, so make sure you check that out as well. Um, if there's kind of one tool I would say you need, that's what I would say, the Built by God TV app. Um, and hit up Collins.